So Thailand's military has declared a martial law across the kingdom. But what does that actually mean? Well, according to Thailand's chief security advisor, the military is now responsible for all national security issues rather than the government. Sounds fairly straightforward. However, the military sort of forgot to let the government know. So is this move a coup d'etat or not? We're talking about Thailand here, a nation that only in 2006 experienced a coup. There's also been months of anti-government protests, leaving 28 people dead and hundreds wounded. Typically, martial laws bring with it curfews, the suspension of civil law, civil rights, and the enforcement of military law and justice to civilians. Civilians defying martial law may be subjected to military tribunal. Government supporters think the martial law is likely to spark a fresh round of anger among civilians, potentially providing the catalyst for an all-out civil war in Thailand. But if you believe military-controlled TV, it's just aiming to restore peace and order for all people from all sides. Either way, the world is now watching to see how it all pans out.